I am Benjamin Dixon, joined by my brothers from other mothers. As always, Mundell Robinson, how you doing, man? What's going on, man? It's Monday, so it's my day. I'm good. Thank you for being is, here. Is Monday... How do you feel about Monday in the quarantine? It's all the same for you now. I mean, it's you still yeah, hustling. Yeah, I mean, it just it's I guess the rest of the world comes back online on Monday, so I get to you know interact with humans, um, other than my uh, my team. So I'm I'm excited. Time for meetings again. That's what's up. That's what's up, Marcus. How you doing on your end, man? I'm good, man. People of color ain't black. People mm. of color ain't black. People of color ain't black, and um. Man, I managed to have my first uh, job fair for my company this weekend. So nice, I nice. Kind of managed to get resumes and hire a couple, a few African American folks. So that's love. Yeah, so I mean, we got a lot more work to do though. <laughs> uh, uh, but I'm I'm ready to rock and roll. And good morning, America. Good morning, good morning, good morning to everybody in the chat room. Honest D, what's good with you, uh, Vishal? Good morning, um, uh, Joe. Big dogs. Uh, A18 Laker fan. Um, what's up, everybody? Just good morning to all of you. You can leave your comments in the comment section. We will include as many as we can. Um, and here we go, man. It's been a, it, it's, I don't know. It's been, we've been off a couple of days. Um, nothing major happened except for Nate Robinson <laughs> getting <laughs> damn near decapitated in that ring last night. Did y'all see that? Yeah, but here's the problem. First, first, we can't even mention. I'm not gonna go negative first. I'm gonna go positive. Snoop Dogg needs to be yes. needs to be on every single. Snoop needs to be calling every single game of every single sport. Like, and especially if you have like lower watch sports for Black people, like MLB mm -hmm. and uh, and hockey. Right. Even though I like hockey because I like the fighting aspect of it, but if you got if you're an MLB or hockey and you want to expand your base, you go yeah. and you give you give Snoop Dogg the whole bag. Yeah. And yeah. I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, brothers will know what right handed pitchers do on Thursdays. Right. Like that's 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 the that's the attractiveness of Snoop Dogg. That brother was so funny. Yeah, man. That's the, it was live as hell, man. It yeah. Was, was, and I mean, well, first, that whole production was like the whole production was just something that a neoliberal could never pull off, something that a conservative <laughs> could never pull off. Like you could tell you could tell whoever whoever made that production. Uh, it, it is, is a black progressive because uh, I mean it was I think the funniest moment of the night was when um, Wiz Khalif got finished rapping and Mario the uh, what's his name Mario the host his name um, was yeah Mario Lopez was like that's his last okay yeah Wiz Khalif was like yeah nigga and then Mario <laughs> Lopez took it over and was like well we see Wiz Khalif is excited. <laughs> 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 he didn't know what to do. Right? Well, I, I, I mean, I do want to answer your question. Um, Y'all punks is scared to jump into the ring with anybody in box, right? Yeah, Nate got knocked out. But, I mean, bigger than that, Nate got a heart that's bigger than most people could ever even imagine because mm -hmm. that was his first boxing match, right? Mm -hmm. And obviously it was less than six to seven months of training, right? And, and his coach probably gave him horrible – because, I mean, he didn't play any defense at all, so he got knocked out. I do think that it's bad for the culture a little bit, how he got knocked out, but on the same token, everybody talking trash. Wouldn't dare jump into a ring, right? Mm -hmm. And that's something that I keep in mind. It was funny, but, like, on the same token, he's a warrior for stepping in the ring. What are you? Mm -hmm. Man, he got his ass knocked out. <laughs> That shit was hilarious. That mother was training six times. That mother was training six, six days a week, two times a day. He shouldn't have been in the ring. That's a prime example of staying your lane. All these blue check individuals, he talking about he's doing it for the NBA. You got knocked out for the NBA. It was beautiful. I can't, I'm, I'm loving, as a boxing fan, as a pugilist, people think it's easy to just hop in that ring. It ain't. These men trained their entire lives to do this sport. But that's beautiful to see him on the time. campus. It was beautiful. It was beautiful to see him <laughs> on his face so many times. And, and oh, it just man. it 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 reminds people that what looks easy on TV ain't easy in real life. <laughs> man, it was beautiful when he tried to when he got hit in the, when he got knocked out the first time. He tried to look at the ref and he got hit in the back of the head, and he like he was about to cry. And oh he, come it, on, man! <laughs> man, when my man caught him again with that uppercut, his face looked like like Martin on, with Tommy Hearns and hit Martin. She don't want to fight. She don't want to fight no more. I'm glad. <laughs> 
Boxing is a real sport. You can't just walk over there and do it. I and Listen, he tried the same thing with the Seattle oh, Seahawks. He's just going to walk man. on. I'm excited that he lost, man. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a good it's a good day for uh, boxing, and all these NBA guys know it. Um, they were all laughing and clowning Nate on um, on Twitter. Stephen Curry, Dikembe Mutombo, uh, Bill, all of them. Because come on, man, like it's a whole sport. You need to respect that, and it's disrespectful to think you could just walk up to that level um, and make it look easy. You did, which is the amateur level, right? Like, like now, I, I blame the coach. I, uh, I well, that that was his first professional fight. Okay, yeah. so he's had he's added some some. Yeah, I uh, mean, none of, but it was, but it was because he sparred before at least yeah i mean he obviously sparred with somebody who liked him as snoop said like it was your homeboy because you you ain't sparred with somebody that wanted to take your head off right man um i mean somebody I, just tell him the cold hard truth man yeah, just say it like bro I mean, I mean listen, listen you don't have to do this man <laughs> listen it's also a thing about like actually getting trained right i mean mm -hmm. he was undisciplined that was the most undisciplined fight I've I've ever seen, right? But I mean, to say the man is not a natural athlete and wouldn't be able to ha handle his own, I could expect that with proper coaching. But man, Nate went in there like you can't run face forward to somebody and buy. <laughs> uh, this, yeah, you can't go face forward. <laughs> you know what I mean? Man, but I, st I still think it got hard. I don't care. I don't, I don't care what nobody say. You got, no, dude, bro, you got listen. Put, I got hard. Who talking that noise ain't gonna jump in the boxing ring? Bro, well, one, I, I, I would, but I ain't got no good sense. Man. I ain't got no good sense. Like, I'm going in there, you, you don't, I'm not going to do it on national TV. I'm not going to do it for the world to see the kind of ass whipping that I'm about to take. You know what I mean? I'll get in there and swing. What's, what, what the hell? Like, get up, get knocked down, get knocked down like Nate Robinson. You ain't getting, your ass ain't getting back up. Uh, man, that ain't no coaching. I don't care about you. Man, you can have the heart of a lion. If you ain't got that growl and them teeth to go with it, it's just hard. You just got an oversized heart. He didn't have his hands up the entire time. Like, it, he was it ain't like, coaching, Please. man. It's arrogance. It's literally, it goes with the, I'm telling you, it goes with the territory. The brother had two, he had Paco Reyes as his coach. Coach, man, anybody that play boxing know who that is. That was his morning coach. Then he had a big coach at night, man. The dude, the dude just ain't a boxer, bro. He just got to listen. Nobody's denying that Nate Robinson has heart. The dude is the first person ever, maybe the only, to win a dunk contest three times. The dude dunked on. He's five nine and made it to the NBA. Of course he has heart. That's yeah. Of yeah. course he has heart and yeah. basketball skills. He's in boxing. He just has heart and no skills. Sorry, <laughs> I, the boy got the boy got smashed, man. He got, I watched it happen. Yeah, it I was, watched it too. I watched it, it, was, it. it was. So, it was. Somebody to train that man to put his. To put his. Man, no, 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 no. So you, his, his no, no, no. Up. You can't blame that so on. You I, can't, I, so Marcus, I mean, hold on a second. You were, I thought you were done. Go ahead. Yeah, I thought you were done. Yeah, you can't. You can't. I, as someone who has put on boxing gloves and been in the ring, you cannot just. You can't just blame the uh, coach for that, bro. So that's arrogance. Because also, like. You can't tell me Reyes, Paco Reyes didn't tell, uh, didn't tell him don't run in there like you trying to get a layup. He kept running at that dude like he was the rim. <laughs> <laughs> Paul was not the rim. He was your opponent. You know, you ain't you ain't gonna get no foul if you get hit in this ring. That's <laughs> a different sport. She got knocked oh. out. <laughs> Bro, the the whole night was amazing, man. Um, but uh, the reason I blame I blame somebody. Um, I blame whoever <laughs> whoever took the fight. Cause Jake Paul got tapes out there of him laying hands on people, like lighting their faces up. Y'all seen those tapes? Y'all seen been those videos? For like two years. He been boxing for a minute, man, and he ain't small. He ain't a small dude, like. And he got he got some time in the ring, man. He's bloodied up some faces before. So I don't know. You're right. Maybe it isn't to blame the coach. The coach was just doing the best he could with what he had. Uh, and Nate had all the heart in the world. He definitely does. Loved him as a basketball yeah. player. Um, but but yeah, he he should. I like them ring. trying out for the Seattle Seahawks. They got they got rules against hitting people certain ways in, in football, but man, that man gave got up. that man got big heart, right? That's like a, what, what, at what point does it? Call, and I don't want. We gonna leave. Wait. Um, five nine. Oh, well, he he he. he okay. Anyway, so um, I'm a, I'm gonna a, leave. A, he got heart. Ten pound. He got heart. It was a ten pound difference. It was a nine. It was a seven inch uh, arm. Jesus. Arm difference. One eighty to one eighty seven was the arm reach, and then the dude the dude was. Four inch taller than it was just a bad. It was a dude. This is what not was true. It, what it was, was a bag. It was a bag. It was a bag. What was, was the weight difference? Car. Ten pounds. Ten pounds. I mean, 
that's I mean Yeah, that was enough. That's enough. <laughs> that but was on the enough. same token though, like if you you could take the same thing, you could say the same thing about Roy Jones and Mike. Because yeah, yeah. Mike had Mike had Roy by ten, Mike had Roy by a couple inches and an arm. Mike had um no, I think Roy had him an arm, but wait, like that was a good that was a good boxing match, honestly though. Yeah. The, the 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 Tyson fight was I mean, you gotta give it up to Roy Jones because he was taking them body shots, boy. And like I know right now Roy Jones somewhere in the ice bucket. <laughs> hey, but does anybody feel like Mike was pulling his punches? No. Listen, no. uh oh. mm -mm. I Mike Mike hasn't been in the ring in ten years. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I here here is a testament to Mike that that he, you know, fought. Uh I got in the ring at 54 years old. Um, I think the difference, though, with Marcus, I think the difference is them, them guys are championship boxers. Nate Robinson, that was his first fight. So I think that's the difference. And Nate and Roberts, I mean, I, I think Roy Roy has, in his career, given up 10 pounds before and know how to hit some, handle someone that hits harder than him. Here's, mm -hmm. here's what I will say. People aren't talking about this, but Mike was high in the ring, bro. Mike smoked. Mike said he smoked a joint before he got in the ring and still threw 196 punches, bro. That guy is a machine. Mike smoked up joint before he got in the ring, bro. I mean, and still threw that yeah, many punches you know, in 16 minutes. I, I, I mean, That's I a mean, big deal, bro. That's I don't know if it's deal. that big of a deal, man. Kinda, kinda, athletes, kinda, yeah, yeah, athletes get high all the time before yeah. they. I mean, Robert Perry. Athletes was, ain't 54 was, years old all the time, though. Coked out of his mind before he went to the basketball <laughs> court, man. Coke, like, don't, you know, Coke is a Lawrence, different thing Lawrence, than weed. Lawrence, no, but, but there's so many basketball players that smoke weed, so many football players that smoke weed. Now, boxing. Now, boxing, that's – you're throwing them things against a human being. Your reaction got to be on point. But on the same token, I don't think your reactions on cannabis is as bad as people try to make them out to be, man. Like, <laughs> I, I don't. I don't. I don't I, I don't think that, man. And I know the, I know the strain of weed that, that Tyson grows. And yeah. if he was smoking his own weed, that's a – um, he has a, a sativa, man, like – you know, he, I mean, he's not. He didn't. He didn't have sleepy weed. He has wake up weed. I'm a thousand percent, percent certain on that. Say what you want. Being high, getting in the ring with a professional champion boxer, at 54 years old, throwing 196 punch is damn amazing. I I, I would just say this. Like I trust. I trust my high. I, I really, really do trust my high. And and you gotta you gotta be able to trust your high and know what you can and you cannot do. That's I right. would never, for the life of me, Ben Dixon. Get into anybody's fight high, <laughs> ever. Yeah, ever. but on the same. But talking, Mike Tyson, you know, though, on yeah, the other that's hand, right. that's <laughs> Mike right. Tyson, it's, it's Tyson, like, bro, like I, I can. You could throw me in a political. You could throw me on whatever the biggest news show is. I don't care. You could wake me up, give me a joint, throw me on CNN, and I'm good. Like in within two seconds. I think that's probably what uh, Mike Tyson would do with with on, on the weed, as your boy would say. But if you take ten years off, would you be good? If I take ten years off, I mean, I put ten more I, years I'd on me. I, I'd have no, no, no. If you take, if you stop talking politics, stop watching politics for ten years, you don't do it for ten years. Well, and Mike has I, been, not, I, not, Mike has been the, sparring. Mike has been sparring. Yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah, uh, right. Yeah, but still, I have, yeah. I, I'd have anxiety, and what what do I do when I have anxiety? Smoke weed. <laughs> why would you smoke weed when you have anxiety see i had to learn how to control my anxiety because like i refuse i refuse to let any strain get well, me anxious because anymore. there's different reactions to different kinds of cannabis and if you've been smoking a whole bunch of different types of weed you know what drops your anxiety you know what picks your anxiety up right mm. and i'm pretty sure that mike tyson as cool he's not a he's not a ferocious monster anymore like right. he's a he's a he's a level-headed cool dude I, I still would never want to get anywhere near one of his punches. I didn't say. I didn't say. I didn't. I didn't say. I'm just saying for me personally. I didn't say put your face in Tyson, Mike Tyson's glove, man. That's not what. Like I, it, yeah, I, I, I didn't say put your face in his fists, right? I, <laughs> it's like no one is saying that. What I'm saying <laughs> is, like, if you're doing business and you are uh, have anxiety, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I, I mean, I just like the whole production, man. It, no, it the was whole dope. The whole it production was, was one of the best. It was the best boxing production I've ever seen. Mm. It was great. No, I mean, like all things considered, it, it was it was really really dope. It was good to see them boys in there throwing them. You could see Mike obviously was fifty four, right? Um, but he still has some movement in him, man. That man, like, if any of us could be half as flexible and and what's it called? I, I guess it's just flexibility. Like the way he was moving his body at fifty four. God damn, he need to be. 